G'day Stampers, Sonia Bernard here, Linked by Ink, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you today, what is today's date? Thursday the 21st of March, March already, 2024, oh my gosh. So I've just got back from on stage, see my little, my shirt here, Stampin' Up! Um, <coughs> sorry, very exciting, it was on stage swag that we could purchase at the event, um, or prior to, we picked it up at the event. I've got the new catalog. Oh my goodness. And my daughter pointed out, I don't have my glasses on, but right here they have a little charcuterie board. I'm all about a good charcuterie board. I can't show you inside. I can show you the front and back. And it is a little glossy. Um, it actually has like the leaves pattern here is actually glossy. And it's so cute. Oh, I love it. And the format has changed. It's all different. And it's actually so much easier. So especially if you're new to crafting and someone throws a catalog at you before, it was like very overwhelming. You're like, what is all this? Now we have a little introduction to crafting and it's like a little storybook. Um, I really, really love it. I'm going to do a um, unboxing soon. So look for that. And um, But today, today is all about um, free with purchase card class. And this is available from today, the 21st of March, through to next 7th of March, um, 2024. And that means that when you purchase, sorry, my internet was acting out. When you purchase um, $40 or more using the host code, excuse me, before shipping in tax, you will get this card kit in the mail. And you'll have enough supplies to make two of each of all these cards. There will be no stamped images. You will have to stamp your own images, okay? But everything else will be there. Um, it's against Stampin' Up! policy to stamp your images. Let me just get my get my um, my other one up here so I can actually see when I turn it down. There we go, that we're in. Whoops, got the volume. Whoopsies. Okay, sorry about that. My face was just in your face. <laughs> okay, so this Everyday Details um, stamp set is the one that I've used today. And this is carrying over. Yay! And the Everyday Details um, bundle dies. Like right now, this is a bundle until April 30th. May 1st, both items will be available, but not as a bundle. So if you want this, get it now while you're saving your 10%. And there's these dies and all these dies in here as well. So it's a great value, very versatile. So again, that's the Everyday Details Stamp and Die. Right now, get it as a bundle, save 10% until May 1st. After that... You're on your own. You can still get it. It'll just be, you know, you won't save that 10%. Um, but if you want to save 20% plus another 10%, then join my team. Get your 20% discount on your um, items on your first order. First, you purchase the starter kit. After the starter kit, you start getting your discount. And your discount is 20%. Every day that you want um, while you remain an active demonstrator. I'd love to have you on the team. It'll be fun So yeah, there's always that option. Well, let's turn it down and get started um, Let me just do my little Flip so we're going the right way Hopefully this is right. We'll find out It's hard now with touch screen. Sometimes you don't know if you've actually touched the button or not It's like did I touch that? Because there's no click, you know? Okay, we'll try to get more centered here. So this is card number one. And nice and easy. Now, envelopes are included. A PDF tutorial is included. And then I do send you a link to this um, video as well. So you really have everything you need to be able to create quick and easy cards. So when you get the kit... You'll have this, and it'll all be tucked into an envelope. And um, I generally put it in order that's the PDF tutorial. So that's how you'll just follow through. You'll know that the first two cards on top, they're the first card that's on the PDF tutorial. So I do try to make it as simple and easy as possible. You're also going to get some twine in this one. Um, I just cut it to the length that you need. 
I'm using this from the um, Baker's Twine Essentials pack. I'm just using the white one in there. So I will um, take that off and I'll snip what size you need and that, that twine, not the whole roll, just the piece will come with it as well. Okay, so this is nice and easy and um, simple. So we've got thick basic white cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, and that is scored at four and a quarter. And we'll just burnish that. And then we have some really um, cute paper from Poetic Expressions. And that is going to be five and a quarter um, height and one and three quarter wide. And why that's important is if you have directionality, then, you know, unless you want it going this way, you need to know which is the height and which is the width. So, again, this is one and three quarter wide and five and a quarter high. Um, now, this it doesn't matter because it's just straight boho blue cardstock. And that is five and a quarter by two inches there. And we're just going to simply layer these together using our little Tombow, my my glue of choice, Tombow Multi. Now, you do know that this is a repositionable glue as well. So if you put that on there like that and then just let it dry, once it dries, it'll actually be repositionable. Um, and so you can use it to pick stuff up and put stuff down. It's great when you're designing a card and you're not exactly sure where you're going to put all the elements you can, or even a scrapbook page. You can kind of play with it at first just to see what you want. Okay, and then we're just going to get our, our white baker's twine and tie a little bow around here. And again, that will come in your kit. And the kit is absolutely free when you make a purchase with me. It's my way of saying thank you. And um, it's delivered to your door absolutely free. And right now, if you purchase $50 or more, you'll also get a free embellishment with it. And I'll show you that embellishment here in a minute. Oh, I actually forgot to put some bling on there, but we can always, you can always leave it more simple or you can add bling, it's up to you. You, you never have to, like make the card how I make the card because we might make it differently okay you might go no I don't want that color I want a different color use what you have in your stash make it your own or copy it exactly the same it's up to you okay now for this sentiment I wanted something to go in this corner but I'm not going to use the same stamp set for every single card that we have so you make every day a little brighter now, the love of this technique, it's so easy. This is post-it tape. It's one inch wide. I got it on Amazon. I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. <laughs> Probably too much. Don't tell the hubby. And then we're just going to go, you make every day, and we're going to put that there because we don't want the ink here. And then we're going to get our Moody Marv, Moody Move, whichever one you want to call it. And we can see, medium mode, we're going to do this. Tap, 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 tap. And then we're going to lift this part off. So we're going to get a little bit off that corner there. Just in case. Don't want to make a smudge. That's a, that's a technical term in crafting. It's called a smudge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, just using this kind of as a guide... I'm going to be placing that about there, and hopefully we're going to get it straight. I'm going to go about here, and oh, turns out love it when something and when a plan comes together. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean that off with my um, stampin' scrub, and I'm going to use this same piece again. And now we're going to put this over the every day and we're going to make sure we don't cover up the s there a the little bit okay, there. and then we will stamp that or it's an a sorry it's not an s oh i'm about to get messy now it's getting dirty okay so i've got that there i'm kind of holding it with my finger right there it's moving a little bit on me that's what you know what okay start again. I'm going to get another piece because that was just not working for me. I'm going to make it longer. I'm going to do this. There we go. Work smarter, not harder, Sonia. 
there we go and then we'll just tap 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 and we'll pull that off and hopefully we've got it right this time everyone cross fingers let's see I'm gonna open that up lay it flat and a little brighter might be a little crooked but oh wow wow okay I was really expecting that to be crooked <laughs> yay okay and now look if you have done this and it made a mess and you're like oh now I've ruined the whole card front because we are stamping directly onto the card what you could do then is just get a scrap piece of basic white do it again and then cut it out in a in a square or a rectangle use a die whatever so there is a way that you could um fix that if you made a boo-boo um my kitty cat is here she's saying hi <laughs> sorry down cat okay um and now my doggy's barking at something we are a pet friendly um smoke free home no smoking in this house but we do have uh pets and um, the dog doesn't shed. She's a little miniature schnoodle. So she's a cross between a miniature schnauzer and a miniature poodle. But she's very much a little guard dog. That's the schnauzer in her. And she usually is downstairs. Because she's so hyper. But my cat, my cat is, she has like run of the house. So she is up here. Now, I've lost my bit. Oh no, I've lost, I've lost these two bits. I just had them. Did you knock them off? Where are they? Okay. They were under the, <laughs> they were under my stamp pad. This is Moody Mauve card, not Moody Marv, Moody Mauve, however we want to say it. It's like pecan, pecan, toucan, toucan. <laughs> so, um, I say mauve. Okay. And we are going to use the second biggest one to die cut that one right there. Okay. And that will give us that. And then stylish shapes. Love these. They're definitely carrying over the third one down. I believe they are. Oh, I'm going to have to go double check now. It gets, this time of year gets a little crazy because we have new stuff we have retiring stuff we have carryover stuff and now we have stuff going to online exclusives so i'm using a black memento ink here and i'm stamping that there now one thing um i like to use recently which i hadn't used in a while and i really fell in love with my watercolor pencils and these are really great, you know, when, especially when doing class and we don't have to go buy all the blends. We can just buy the pencils and, um, color with them. Now you do need a blender pen, which is great to have one of these and they come in a set. I think there's three in the pack, or you can also use a little, um, watercolor pencil, one of these water painter like this so they also come in a pack so you can use either a water painter but I don't want to get too messy and I want it quick and easy so um, I'm going to show you just one I'm going to do the flower here real quick so I use the fresh freesia on this particular flower now the heavier you go on the the coloring the the heavier the color will look when you're done if you just kind of do a light color like that then it's going to be a lot lighter so um if you want it saturated just press a little harder and it is just like a regular pencil where you sharpen it now should you ever because this happened once to me should you ever receive a pack of pencils and they're all broken call in and get a replacement because I, I had that happen and I was trying to sharpen them, the ends were just falling off everywhere. And Stampin' Up! is just so amazing at making things right. But it's like regular lead pencils. If someone drops it and they dropped it somewhere, I mean, it could have been dropped anywhere. Um, all those leads break inside and you do need that one lead not to be broken. So you see how you just get this blender pen and you kind of just blend it in. 
and boom there is your colors so I've got in this pack of watercolor I've used old olive on the leaves here and then I've used believe it or not they call this blue and we're not sure why it just says blue I mean it looks like azure afternoon or pacific point but it just says blue and I didn't notice this until yesterday but I used that on the teacup right and I'll just show you real quick here just a little section because I have one already done how much this changes let me bring it up to the camera for you and um, let's just make sure we've got it in there so you can see how it's kind of like a scribble but when you do that blender pen it actually just transforms how fun is that and then you do want to, when you're doing this, you want to wipe it off on a paper towel or a paper napkin in between your colors just so you don't blend the colors together. Because um, I did that a little bit on this one. You can actually see where the yellow kind of went into the pink right there. So what not to do, okay, but no one's going to know. And you can probably just put some more pencil over the top of that. So here we go by the power of pre-prepping everything <laughs> I have got one ready and then it's just a matter of simply throwing some dimensionals on here and we are good to go love it um, so this is really a quick and easy card and plus you get that little relaxing moment of um, of coloring it really is there's just something about coloring with pencils that just brings me back to my childhood and just to relax and I remember days rainy days sitting inside this is before the internet before all the video games like back in the day I'm, I'm dating myself now but back in the day you know there was nothing to do you had your crayons and your colored pencils and you did have some markers if you were lucky if you're really lucky you had the ones that smelled like fruit yeah so just some memories but it is very relaxing very therapeutic and I'm gonna just pop that one right there and you make every day a little brighter too easy love it and then make sure you go pop that in the mail and brighten someone's day with that and I do have ladies who like they're like well I'm keeping that one I was like well this is why we make two so you can keep one send one keep one send one so next we're making another one. It's a little bit more of a different cut than normal. And let's see if I've actually got the measurements written down because that'll be fun <laughs> if I don't. Oops. Let's see. So overjoyed for you in this new journey. Now I've stuck with the sentiments from the stamp set, but this could be a cute happy birthday as well, you know, or, or just um, it, it could really be anything. But the new journey is the egg to me is symbolizing the beginning of something new, whether that be a new job, a new move, um, a new baby, um, a marriage, you know, anything, a, a, even a new boyfriend. It's, it's a journey. Life is a journey to be enjoyed. So that is how I see that one. So we've got our basic white thick cardstock and I've cut it at eight and a half by five and a half scored it at four and a quarter and then I've trimmed off a half inch off this one side doesn't matter which side because you're just going to fold that down and that's going to be your top okay well, I guess it kind of matters if you're really following the scoring then you'll want to cut it from wherever you're going to fold it in cut off half an inch to have this on the front side next we're going to take our cute um, lost lagoon and we're also going to get our lost lagoon ink and this fun little decorative stamp and we are going to get to stamping um, randomly I'm looking for the little sheet I had there we go I'll have a little bit underneath just so I can get the edges. So I'm going to get a Lost Lagoon ink. And oh, I need to put the I need to put the name of it in there. And we're going to get this cute little stamp. 
and we're just going to stamp all over and it doesn't have to be I'm just kind of filling it in and you can fill it in differently too might be better actually if you just do that to do it a little off um, offset and we are going to cover a lot of that so you don't actually have to fill in this part here you can kind of take this and save yourself some time kind of go like here and it'll take a minute but that's okay we can just go along the edge here on the bottom it looks just so cute once you're done I really like it and I might want to fill in just a little bit more here maybe one there there we go that one kind of didn't come out so there just stamp over it no one's going to be looking that closely okay so it's okay we'll just give it a quick stamp over if you need to so next we can see we've got our crumb cake and we're cutting out a square of that with our everyday details dies and it's going to be this one here the largest one that is going to you're going to cut that out and then the one that I'm missing okay don't know where this other one just went but there's one in between here so the second largest and that's where you're going to cut your basic white out with um, I was just using it recently so I'm not sure where I put it <laughs> it may be one of those things where I'll find it eventually okay then we're going to take this one and we're going to get our little bird nest here and we're going to get crumb cake I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake and it might go a little bit over and that's okay right then I've used three colors from the um, from the pencils here and I have used the blue for the eggs to make them the little isn't it robin blue robin eggs I'm not sure there's a bird that has blue eggs <laughs> and then I used the pecan pecan pie to just kind of fill in where all the little nest part was and then the old olive for the leaves and then blender pen and voila we have that all colored in because I know we don't want to be here all day although I have I have people tell me because you know I still have an accent because I was born and raised in Australia and people are like oh I could listen to you all day I'm like okay we'll just go hit play on my YouTube channel and let those videos play and then you can hear my accent all day long <laughs> so um, help me help you there we go and then we're going to stick some dimensionals on the back of this one too I just like to do the corners and then one in the middle just so we don't get any sagging so because we get enough of that as we get older okay <laughs> maybe that might have been TMI right there <laughs> Lost Lagoon um, and we've got Overjoyed for you in this new journey and then we've just got a scrap of um, basic white um, cardstock and that is three quarter inch wide a uh, high I should say and I've done it by three and a half but then we're just going to trim it down so you'll get a piece this size and one of the reasons you get like this size is like oh you make a mistake you just flip it over and use this other side okay because it happens I do it all the time it'll be crooked oh see see how crooked that one is I thought I had to go up Apparently I'm going to go down a little bit with this one, so we'll try again. Good enough. There we go. And then you're just going to get your paper snips and snip that edge off. Like this. And look at that. Perfect. It's like... I've just brought it into existence in case you make a boo-boo oh look I made a boo-boo <laughs> I 
Okay, there we go. Now, we're just going to assemble with our bits. And we do have this strip as well. And this is, again, our um, Poetic Expressions paper. I think that's the name of it. Poetic Expressions. And it is going to be um, five and a quarter inches wide and one inch high. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and pop that on the inside of the card. Put that right here. I really love having this little edge cut off and a little peekaboo. It's a little like peekaboo. Okay. And did I give you the dimensions of my... Lost Lagoon? I think I did. I think I did. Now I can't find it. It is, um, oh, maybe I did not because I'm not seeing where I even wrote it down. Well, good gravy. Okay. It is, and I, <laughs> I had written pool party down. This is not pool party. What was I doing? What was I thinking? So this is five and a quarter by three and a half. And when I said pool party earlier, um, I, I apologize deeply. It's because my pool party is right next door to my Lost Lagoon. But this is Lost Lagoon. Okay. And we're going to glue this down. I, I think I said Lost Lagoon earlier. But, um... Again, five and a quarter by three and a half. And we'll just center that on there. Go. Perfect. And then we're just assembling. We're almost done. Now you could bling these up too if you want to add some extra bling to it. You sure can. But for right now, I'm just kind of going to leave them. Same with that first one. I just kind of left it blink um let me stand up so i can get that a little bit more centered in there there we go and here we are so this is card two these are easy peasy lemon squeezy but they still look so cute now remember all the die cuts done for you already i do all the the heavy lifting and then you just get to come in grab your inks and your stamps and enjoy the creativity isn't that awesome? There you go. Boom. Card two. To make life easier. And then this is card three. Oh, love bubble bath. Love it, love it, love it. I always want to call it bubble gum because of the bazooka gum that is that color that we, that we grew up with. Well, some of us grew up with it. Mmm. Sorry, needed my coffee. Hope you can't hear me slurping that. Oh, so good. So we're actually going to um, get our piece of eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter, and we can burnish this. Okay, we've also got a piece of DSP, and this DSP is two and a half inches high. By four and a quarter wide and it's four and a quarter having a mental blank yes <laughs> I want to make sure now the reason I'm pulling this out now is because we're actually going to grab our cute little stamp again and this time we're going to get our um, bubble bath and we're going to do that little um, background technique on this card as well so when I'm doing this I sometimes do it like this. I'll have one here to get the edges and then I'll get another piece and I'll put that along the back, kind of like tucking it in there. Then you're going to have this piece that's going across the middle so you can kind of use that as your guide to see how far you need to do um, this. Again, just be random with it oh, don't worry if you make a boo-boo like I just did we'll we we'll maybe cover that up maybe we will need some bling on this one and we can go down a little bit further but don't don't overthink it just go for it just put that all in there 
Need a little bit extra down there. Okay, and then we'll do the same at the bottom. And just keep going. Like little Dory. Oh, I loved that little show, Finding Nemo. The show, little show. <laughs> the movie, Finding Nemo. It was just so cute. And little Dory. The pillar of not giving up. There we go. She also had a memory like a goldfish, so <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> oh, me some days. Okay. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I did make a tiny little boo-boo there, but no one's even going to be the wiser. No one has to know that that's a boo-boo. It's like when you get a coin and it has a bolt on it, it just makes it more special, right? So that's what we're going to say that is. Okay, we're going to need Moody Move, Moody Marv, and we're going to need um, our stamp again. You make every day a little brighter, and then we're going to get a piece of um, just basic white, and it's like a half inch wide, and it is, how long did I make this? Five and a quarter um, wide, a half inch high. Let's stamp that up and try to get it on straight. There we go. Wow, just having a good lucky stamp day, I guess, except for that one that was a little crooked. And then we're going to trim the ends. You see, I'm doing very simple. Let's make it easy. Let's not make this difficult at all. And then we will glue this on. I'm gluing it flat. I don't want to pop it up because I already have some dimensionals coming with the image. So I want to keep that there. There we go. And then we're going to get a piece of basic white and we're going to use the Everyday Details die again. And again, that is the largest one that we're going to use right there. And we're going to stamp in black memento ink this cute little vase with the flowers. I love this. It's so cute. And we're just going to stamp that right there. Wonderful. Then we're going to color. And we're going to use again our watercolor pencils. We get so much color with this. It's just fantastic. So I did the Daffodil Delight. I did the flowers all in the Daffodil Delight. The leaves again in your old olive. And then... The, the vase, or the vase, however you want to say it, I did that in Fresh Freesia, the vase. So, then you've got this. And again, remember, you get your blender pen, and you just go over everything like that. And you can go this way too, which just blends it a little better. You see, I don't know if you could see that, but it was a little not blended, so I was like... Let me just put a little extra on there and then again dimensions are just making life easy we're almost done with this one how quick and easy is this you could knock out a whole bunch of these all of these cards very quick very easy um, you can use any image you want on here I mean anything would work with it you could have cute critters you could have um, just anything you have in your stash if you don't have the stamp set and it's like not one that you're like oh, I'm just not into flowers this is this is very um versatile you could use so many different things in here so even the cute little cows bundle you put cows in here it wouldn't matter and then we'll just pop that there and then some dimensionals across the label and just go across the middle. That's crooked. Okay. 
just got to fix that real quick. Now, did you know with your Stampin' Dimensionals, if you put it down crooked, if you're super quick, it still hasn't really set yet. So you can actually pull it up like you can be like, oh, no, no, no. Let me just, let me reposition that whole thing, right? And then you can like put that back down and go, okay, that's better. Now, after it's been there for a bit, then you can't just pop it back up. It's it the glue starts to dry and adhere on the um, on the actual little dimensional, and then you're gonna if you tried to do what I just did after it sat there for a while. Like if I tried to pull this up, it's gonna be pulling up the cardstock. It's gonna make a hot mess. So don't do that. Like after it's been sitting for a minute, only like it was only on there for a couple of seconds, and I was able to pull it back off. So just keep that in mind. Now, our last card, I actually went out of my comfort zone with this card because I am not a fan of wild wheat at all. <laughs> like, me and wild wheat, we've just never really seen eye to eye. But I had this really cute paper from the Poetic Expressions DSP, and it has that wild wheat in it. And I thought, you know what, just a little bit can't hurt. What about if I just use a little bit of wild wheat? So that is what I decided to do. And then I was pleasantly surprised with um, how it turned out. So yay for wild wheat. And um, I thought it actually turned out kind of cute. So sometimes it's good just to step out of your comfort zone, try something new, something different. You may end up really liking it. So let's get our dimensions for this one. And... Now, Poetic Expressions is going away. Our DSP always goes away at the at the end of the catalogue. Um, however, some things may be going on to the online store, and I'm sure we'll have a list of all that later. But right now, um, I know that the Poetic Expressions paper is going away, but there's so many fun new papers coming that you'll have something to replace that with. Okay, so this is our basic white cardstock. Again, it's... Um, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and then we have got our poetic expressions DSP just make sure you're cutting it in the right direction because we wouldn't want it looking all sideways so you were going to do four inches wide and five and a quarter high okay sideways that's your height that's going to be your five and a quarter then you turn it this way, cut down, top to bottom is going to be your width, okay? So I know some people get confused. I used to get confused sometimes looking at stuff. I'm like, wait, which way is it? But that's why I put, I've started putting with the DSP, I'll put a W and an H next to the measurements. So you can tell if you have, uh, I think I've frozen. Oh my goodness. Um, hello? Hello? I don't see that I'm moving. Um, let me try. Sorry, I've got technical difficulties. I'm trying to go back into my page. If I, if you can see me, yay, but we're just having a bit of a a moment there oh okay my my <laughs> oh technology my computer froze um my my phone did and it i thought that i'd lost all my internet so um i don't know if you heard me then i don't know how much you heard and if it froze or not but i'm just going to repeat it so sorry if this is bothersome but this piece of dsp is four inches wide so that's when you go you put for the width, you put your paper in your paper trimmer, directionality that you want it going, and that's how wide you cut it, so four inches. Then you turn it against the directionality, and then that's your height, that's five and a quarter, okay? Just because I know sometimes people do get confused, so I don't want any confusion there. We've got wild wheat, and that is five and a quarter by two and a half, and then we've got our basic white, which is five and a quarter, by two and a quarter so 
they are the same height. I'm not saying that wrong. They are the same height. They're both five and a quarter, okay, because they're going to go on like this. Then we're going to get our black memento, and we're going to get our cute little teacup back, and we're going to stamp this up, and we're just going to put in an angle, and go about there. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, and stamp again, and then we'll turn it this way a little bit. And then one more, and we'll turn it that way. And don't worry if there's not exactly the same distance in between them, because we're going to put a sentiment right across here anywho, so that won't be an issue. Back to our watercolor pencils, and this time I actually used um, Calypso Coral on the flowers. I did a little speck of Daffodil Delight on the middle of that flower in the center. Old Olive in the leaves. And then I used a little Pecan Pecan Pie for the... Nope, hang on. Did I use that? Or did I... Yeah. Pecan Pecan Pie for the tea. And then I used a little um, Basic Grey for the teacup. And I just found that that color, I didn't want anything too bright because I wanted it to go with the um, Wild Wheat. And there we have that one. And I think they just go together so cute. So that is the colors I used. And then again, we're just gluing down. So quick, so easy, these cards. And again, you can use any stamp you have. All the bits are going to be cut for you, die cut for you. Just, there'll be no stamped images because we can't do that. But you should have something in your stash already or add that to your cart. Make that your order and get this absolutely free. And again, you get the, you get the card kits, you get the envelopes, you get the PDF tutorial. I mean, all just for spending $40, and you get that mailed to your house. So it's a great value. PDF tutorials are like $15 a piece. So it is truly a wonderful value. And then we're just going to get our Wild Wheat Sentiment. And again, I just love this. I'm sticking with the same sentiment, but you can, or the same, the same, um, think for a second my, my, my mind just went completely blank so, <laughs> but I'm sticking with the same stamp set just to show you that you can um, use it with the, just the stamp set you don't need multiples but if you have other stamp sets you can change it up this is what I'm trying to say look I have that little mark there that's just enough that'll irritate me so let me just switch this over and it's okay if you make a boo-boo then we just switch it over and everything's back to being wonderful. <laughs> and again, I'm making this easy peasy. Snip this, boom. Snip this, boom. And you'll see, I haven't even put any bling on any of these yet. But if you want some bling... I'm going to show you one that I think would be really cute with this in just a second. We can bling them up and see how they look. Although sometimes I do struggle with placing bling. I'm like, where should I put this? Okay, so we've got our four cards now, or you'll have your eight cards really, right there. And then these. How cute. Do you love them? Adorable. So, the red and green adhesive-backed pearls, I thought would go really cute with this. The actual, these will be going away, but you've got some red here, and I thought, well, that would be fun to use. Oh, I don't have my, um, where's my tool? Well, I had this one, but this is actually uh, one that you can add on. It's a brush tip, and it's great for rolling out all the little dots that cut out here. So you can add that on. That's my pokey tool on this end. I don't want my pokey tool. I want the little glue one. Here, I have a second one. Okay. 
So this is what it comes with when you order the Tiki Pip tool. It actually comes with the sticky glue. It's kind of like, um, it reminds me of blue tack, and I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. So, wait, did I not even pick that up? Okay, so you kind of just slide it, and maybe I'll stick one here, and then sometimes you got to mess with it a little bit. There we go. And then, oh, we'll just pop one over that little boo-boo. And we'll do another one there. Okay. And then, oh, this would look good with the gold. That'll be adorable. So we'll just throw one down there. And we can pop another one up here. And there. And if you want, you can add more. It's, it's your card. This is working out perfect now. We can stick one here. And... And then we can use on this one the silver. So this worked out perfect. And if you want to get this embellishment for free, you can um, do that when you place an order of $50 or more prior to shipping and tax using the host code in the description um, of this video. And you have to place that order by the 27th so just when you're checking out make sure that my name Sonia Bernard is showing in the checkout and that that host code is showing and then look we've we've taken it stepped it up with just a touch of bling it really just step it up a little bit like visually look at that it just takes it to a whole nother level now remember when you're mailing these in the mail because these some of these are kind of like taller what I do is I fold them inside out and that way when they're going through the the mail it's not getting caught on anything, okay? And you just write like you normally would, and they'll get it, and they'll open it, and they'll figure it out, and they go, oh, look, how smart was she? Because she turned it inside out before mailing it, because you don't want this catching as it's going through the post to get to its destination. So there you go. This is the Everyday Details Card Class. I hope you absolutely love it. I hope you give it a go. I hope you place that order and thank you for choosing me as your demonstrator thank you for watching my video if you're just watching I appreciate you make sure drop me a comment I will say hi I love like replying to comments and um, let me know which one's your favorite and yeah we'll call that a day guys have a great one take care it's been forever I feel since I talked to you okay bye now